Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Cringe Confessional. That's right, Cringe Confessional, the only show on the internet where you can confess everything that you are embarrassed that you ever did your entire life. I have a site, cringe.coney.gg, and 2,000 plus of you have actually responded and let me know all of your most embarrassing and deeply personal traumatic stories. Most of them are about poop. Please stop sending me poop stories. We have so many. I don't need to know. We're going to hear more of these stories, and I will regale you of the tales of lost love and pooped pants, because those are the only two things that we have on this show. Join me for another episode of Cringe Confessional. I once attended a birthday party for my good friend. It's a little scary with the red text. And she had told us that the theme was to dress as any character thing whose name started with the same letter that ours did. Okay. And when I got there, everyone circled around me and let me guess who they were dressed as. That's cute. It was going well until it got to someone who was wearing a brown shell bra. A brown shell bra? Like a Mickey Mouse... I almost said Mickey Mouse because I'm so used to saying Mickey Mouse on this stream. Like Ariel, but brown? Like a coconut. Like a coconut bra. My mind immediately went to the scene in Star Wars with Leah and Jabba the Hutt. Okay. So I blurted out Jabba the Hutt in front of everyone <laughs> instead of Leah. Kind of like I just did, but with Mickey Mouse and Ariel. That poor girl. So you just called her Jabba the Hutt in front of everybody, huh? My mind immediate. I had known her for over a decade at that point. Her name started with an M, <laughs> and she was really dressed as a mermaid. So you didn't Needless even... Needless to say, I <laughs> rightfully got made fun of for the rest of the party. Hey, you got made fun of for one day. She got made fun of for the rest of her life for that. I'm sure that never... Never escaped her. Her name didn't even start with J. Or L. Like, Leia wasn't right either. I don't know what... You were wrong three different ways. That's pretty embarrassing, honestly. This is a good way to start it out. In high school bio class, we were learning about different genes that were related to skills. Skills? With being able to roll your tongue as the prime example. Can you guys do that? Mm, are those genes? Oh my god, it's part of my core... My soul. It's my DNA. I can't. <laughs> You can't do that. Oh, you got a soft ass tongue. Can't even do a muscle stretch. Mm. Is whistling a gene? Or is that like mouth shape? Because I can't whistle. That can't be a gene thing. That's a skill issue. No, it's not. Dude, okay. I was watching Bubble Guppies with my two year old the other day. And they were talking about whistling. And they said that everybody could do it. And I wanted to go through the fucking screen. I wanted to headbutt my fucking plasma TV. Thank God she can't remember that. Because she would have trolled me for the rest of her life. Daddy, why can't you whistle? My, her mom can whistle. My wife can whistle. I can't whistle. I okay. raised my hand and said in a confident manner, I'm whistling is oh, also look at based that. on genetics, <laughs> right? No. <laughs> and my teacher was no. like, no, it's a skill that anyone can do. And the whole class laughed at me. Oh, what the fuck? Are you serious? Your teacher's a fucking bozo. Your teacher's a fucking clown. Fuck that. She's the cringe one. What the fuck is that? The teacher fucking lied. That's the cringe part of the story. The whole class laughed at you? For what? No, I can't believe that. That's actually absurd. I raised my <laughs> I still can't whistle. No, my brother! Brother! Or there's a 3% chance you're a sister. Oh my god, we are the same, you and I. Oh, man. Chat, press 1 if you cannot whistle. Right now, please. If you cannot whistle, press 1. Look at everybody in the non-whistling army. That's amazing. I can't believe they're saying it's a skill that anyone can do. That's literally not true. That's absolutely not true. It's the last concert of the year for the orchestra. Uh -huh. And I'm not only first chair, but I finally have a solo. Good for you. My parents were so excited for me that they got the whole extended family to show up. It, uh, nerves? I think this might be stage fright. We're playing and then it's almost time for my solo. Cool. My stand mate turns the page. Uh-huh. We're right there. And here we go. The sheet music falls to the fucking ground during a quiet <laughs> part of the piece. Okay. I fumble my way through the first part of my solo out of embarrassment, nerves, uh -huh. and having to lean so my stand mate can pick up the binder. <laughs> 
even after she puts it back on the stand. I'm so shaken. Can I mess it up more? Oh, c uh, uh, come on. It's not that bad. Well, I guess if you're dropping it multiple times, you are drawing all of the attention. God, people are going to start laughing, too. You're killing everybody else's vibe. No, that's Even tough. after the worst part but is when the you next start day playing. when someone show me a snap story of my <laughs> bundle in video form. Do you have it? Did you send Hola, it? school scene, that shit. <laughs> I mean, you just drop some stuff. It's not a big deal. It's fine. Everybody is going to forget about it. Everybody had a chuckle. It's okay. Once upon a time, when I was in middle school, don't like the way my that class started. went to a field don't trip like this to being an a fairy tale. park It in better my not town. end with poop. There was this big room that had a free arcade with House of the Dead and a haunted house type attraction. Oh, that's sick. Okay. I was so scared of haunted houses back then. Oh, it's a pee story. Anyway, while I was playing at the arcade, uh -huh. the girl that I had a crush on back then asked me to go with her to the haunted you house. You lucky dog. And what was my response? What'd you say? Sorry, I'm dealing with my own haunted house right here. I will never forget the look on her face. What? what does that even mean? I'm dealing with my own haunted house. <laughs> Honestly, dude, this is a coin flip. This could have been a 50-50 shot that she would have been like, oh, he's so dark and mysterious. Oh, he's so troubled. Like a James Dean type moment. Not in middle school. Oh, wait, this is middle school. Never mind. I thought it was high school. No, in middle school, you fucked up. <laughs> Never mind. You're right. No, that's okay. I didn't. I didn't listen closely enough. No, with middle school, that's a weird response. Yeah. No, you were gonna lose that one. I was 17 at the time, scrolling on Discord on a nice Friday night. Dude, I feel it. It is crazy to me that Discord is not like a new thing for new people. I was there for the start of Discord, bro. I was in their early marketing, and now it's a part of people's core growing. Ex it's like a coming of age thing. I feel a fart coming, oh, no. but since I was in my basement, I just let it rip. Okay. What's the worst that could happen? I thought. It's a poop story. I bet you can imagine what happened. Did you poop? Shit my pan. It's a poop story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I did, obviously, right? Of course. Of course. That's what happened every time. If you think it's a poop story, it's a poop story. There's no misdirection. Shit my pan. You sure did. Now I have to take care of my boxes that are lightly covered well, in shit. Well, you're in your basement. It's fine. My genius Not idea a big deal. was to flush them down the toilet to remove the evidence. What the fuck? You're in your own house. Throw them away. You were 17 years old? What the fuck are you thinking? You're almost an adult. This ended up clogging the pipe so <laughs> bad that the pipe bursted in the basement and the plumber had to come oh, to no! fix the pipe and remove the boxes from said pipes. Oh, no. My leaky ass costed my parents $500. Wait, did, okay, but did the plumber snitch on you? Did the plumber tell them what happened? Did he even know? Could he have known? You know what would have been a really good bonding moment? Is if you, your mom, and your dad all had underwear of varying sizes and de decorations all with shit on them and all three of you have flushed your your underwear at some point and you all pooped your pants like some gift of the magi stuff you know what i mean oh we all pooped ourselves oh it happens to all of us just a incontinent family when i was in 11th grade I got cast as a Native American character oh in the big school musical. Oh god, I don't like the way this is starting now. The problem was that I'm as white as cream cheese, and my costume was a pair of loose leather pants, a feathered headband, uh -huh. and that's it. I had to go buy the darkest shade of foundation oh the local oh department my store had, just oh my to god. enough to pass as Native American. Oh god! Oh god! Was this your choice or was this like the director's choice? Is this like a school board moment? D did you really, did you like go above and beyond for your role? Were you trying to be a, a method acting? Not a single person in the cast or the audience <laughs> of any of the shows saw anything wrong Kansas with moment this situation. Again. Okay. For reference, I was Lonesome Polecat in the show Lil Abner. I, I mean, is it cringe now? Sure. You should not have done it. But the fact that nobody was embarrassed or told you to do it, not to do it means that there was no embarrassment at the time. I, th this is a weird one because nobody cringed. In the moment, nobody cringed. Is this a cringe confessional? You look back and cringe at it. 
But if a if a if a tree falls in the forest and nobody hears it, does it make a sound? If you dress up in blackface on stage but nobody thinks it's cringe, is it cringe? It's cringe outside of it when you tell that story to other people. It's clearly wrong. But <laughs> yes it does. But if you're not there to cringe at it in the moment, I am cringing right now. Okay, well then that that answers the question. I had a new friend and we hung out for a while we were only 10, so one day I asked if we could hang out and said he couldn't because he was busy. That's sad. I said alright cool maybe next time, love you. Aww! For context, I That's always cute. said I love you to my parents on the phone at the end of the call. Yeah, okay, everybody We never does hung that. out yeah. again and he was weirded <laughs> out by me. Sag. Oh man. That's pretty bad if that was like a new friend. Yeah, and you were... Ah, that's a tough one. And what if he said it back, right? That would have been a long-lasting friendship, and you guys would have been friends until you turned 90. That would have been tremendous if he said it back. That could have been a real bonding moment for you two. This was back in my band class in ninth grade. Okay. The directors were in their office to do placement auditions for the next school year and made the wise decision to let a student try to lead rehearsals. That's nice. Needless to say, things went wrong rather expeditiously. <laughs> okay, and it took sure. about 1.3 seconds for the band hall to get real loud real quick That's at first a terrible I didn't idea want for to an humor adult it to or have. try to tell people to quiet down since it would be a waste of breath but right. by the time we'd hit the 10 minute mark of chaos my patience was wearing thin oh you fucked up you were the kid you were the melvin that tried to wrangle everybody up you were trying to adhere to the teacher's w wishes oh dude um we're supposed to be practicing our scales in a brief lapse in judgment, uh -huh. I spoke up and made an attempt to roast the kid who was oh, being the loudest, no. as if to make an assertion of dominance. How'd it go? Alas, what came out of my mouth was not nearly as coherent as I had intended. Oh, wait a minute. So you were trying to be cool about it. You were going for the roast. You were trying to burn his ass. Get the kids on your side. All right, I'm, I'm buckled in. I'm ready to go. What did you say? Alas, what came out? I swear to God. If you don't shut up, I'll pee punch you so hard, poop comes out of your nose. Which, if one is willing <laughs> okay. to think hard enough, right, sounds yeah. like a real sketchy yeah. thing to say. I mean, it, and I have no idea to this day <laughs> what sort of vocabulary <laughs> verse I was trying to formulate that could even be remotely similar well, to that. I don't know all what in all, it's a standard studied during an attempted roast story. I, I don't know if it's but standard. That doesn't stop it from drilling an absolute <laughs> chism into my brain at 3:49 a.m. some night. Okay, I don't know if I would call this standard. I would say this is pretty grade A. This is some hazardous uh, level of of, uh, of of brain fuckery here. I don't think this is standard at all. I think you really fucked up. Don't try to downplay it. We're at critical mass here. Uh, no, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. I don't know what you were trying to say either. Honestly, though, if that loud kid said it, he probably would have got the whole class laughing. And I, I swear to God, it's the it's the stuttering. Is the, yeah. It's the pa-punch. That's what it is. If you said it with confidence and with authority, if you said it with your chest, he would have been scared to death, bro. He's gonna make poop come out of my nose? How's he do that? I've never been hit that hard. I've been in a couple fights, but not that bad. Worked in a bar. Owner just finished singing karaoke. Wasn't really paying attention to everyone at the bar top. Okay. Talked to shit to one of the guys not clapping for her. Okay. Didn't notice he only had one arm until after I said it. Ah. He said, what the fuck do you want me to do? <laughs> Smack my chest. <laughs> Was known as the bartender that picked on amputees for like a month. <laughs> Dude, how do we always have one arm stories? It's incredible. Every single week, there's another person who tries to interact with somebody or says something about somebody with one arm. I can't believe this is as numerous as it is. I was once at a random fast food joint and needed to take a piss. Can you... Okay, this is a pet peeve of mine. Can everybody just stop saying piss? Just say go to the bathroom or... Pee is kind of childish. I just hate this word. I hate it when people say this. 
As I was leaving an old a lady leak. asked me to open the door for her as they were pretty heavy. Okay. I said sure why not but she then asked me to hold it open so she wouldn't get stuck in the bathroom. Like a freezer? I had to stay there hearing this old lady do her business for like two minutes. She definitely was into something. I don't know if it's a power trip or what but she did that on purpose. The fact that you stood there, I bet she couldn't believe it either. If I was this old, I would do this too. Be like, fuck it. What can I get away with with young people that think I have a re- It's not a fucking freezer. You're not going to get stuck in the fucking bathroom. I had to stay there. Here. I eventually got too embarrassed to stay there. So I stuck oh, no, a piece she get of stuck? cardboard to the door. Told an employee an old lady may be stuck in the bathroom and ran away. That's the end of the story, by the way. I hope that old lady got out okay. What if she fell in and you weren't there to save her? Why did you tell an employee? If I'm an employee and somebody tells me, I'm definitely not checking in on that old lady. There's no way I'm going in there. This was a prank. Yeah, I feel like this was like, this was probably Impractical Jokers. And it was like, Murr, dressed up as an old lady. And they wanted to see how long you would hold the door open for. If you can't get the kid to hold open the door for two minutes, you lose. I ordered pizza. And the guy showed up and handed me my food. Okay. Both of my hands were full, so I guess he was trying to just be nice and close the door for me <laughs> after I was finished paying. That's nice, yeah. He reached forward to close the door, <laughs> but I thought he was going in for a hug. <laughs> so me, being the Aww. fucking imbecile that I am, wrapped my arms around <laughs> him while still holding my food. Aww. Dude, I, I don't know. It's part of the tip. Yeah, what a good tip. Yeah. Being no, the fucking I'm, imbecile I think, that I, think that's pretty I realized sweet. what I he was well. trying to do, which wasn't lovingly embraced Hold on, me, wait a minute. And I said Merry Christmas and closed the door. Wait a minute. When when would, did this story happen? If this story happened in November or December, it's a very cute story. It's a little silly, but it's fine. If this happened in March, <laughs> it's pretty bad. One time in high school, I was sitting in the front office, and the girl I had a crush on also came into Ooh, the office bad and sat in the chair next to me. I glanced over at her and noticed there was a large spider crawling oh, God, in her Oh God, save head. her! This was probably the perfect Help opportunity her. to finally talk to her, which I had been wanting to do for a while. What, did you, Build did you some smack her? with her and be did somewhat you, of a hero in this Did you moment. smack her? But I was too shy and didn't <laughs> say anything. I just let her walk away with a spider in her hair. Bro, what? You just let her leave? You probably crawled and put eggs in that shit, dude. You could have helped her. What are you doing? Could have been lice. <laughs> it's a big lice. Dude, how big, how big does that lice have to be to be visible to the naked eye on hair? She might have been made out of bugs, like an Oogie Boogie Nightmare Before Christmas situation, right? But that feel with no bug girlfriend, you know? Like, she's just a bunch of spiders. No utterly grotesque bug girlfriend. Why live? Back in high school, there was this girl I really liked and basically everyone in my English class knew. Okay. Eventually one day, the jock in the class decided to count out loud how many times I looked at her in class. Oh no, dude. Oh, that's fucked up. Why did you stop? Why did you keep looking? Oh my god. Why not just let him say like six? And then when you realize what it is, just don't even... Fuck, man. Okay, what happened? What happens then? Eventually, what the worst part is, oh, the no! in class was in on it. Even her. Oh no! That's so much worse. It was a trap. Never trust a woman. You did, I don't know why any any she has any part of this. The fact that she had a part in it. What if the teacher joins in too? Oh, this is partially your fault. You should have had some self restraint. Learn some discipline, brother. In high school here? Ugh. This is probably during the era of, like, simping, too, right? Where everybody's calling people simps and shit? Oh, My that was probably really bad. That's probably terrible. My junior year of high school, we did High School Musical, the musical for the musical of that year. Okay. In the show, there's a scene where we're all supposed to act like animals. 
my character decided that he would be frog for some reason. So you which had to means hop I was leaping stage. across the stage in the background while other characters and had ribbit. the spotlight. Okay, yeah. I ended up jumping a lot further and faster when our first <laughs> performance came because of the nerves and energy. Oh god, you stole focus? You're upstaging everybody with your dumb little frog routine? The guy who played Chad was ripped and way larger than me. <laughs> and I let dry toward him oh, as he no. was finishing his dialogue. You tried to challenge Chad? I slammed into his chest in front of 300 people and chipped a tooth. God damn, dude, how hard are you hopping? What the fuck? How strong are your legs? Are you doing 300 squats a day? Are you Chad or is he, is this guy just a brick fucking wall? How did you chip your tooth on a human being? Which one of you is stronger? I can't tell the unstoppable force and the immovable object. Bro, when that kid starts riveting, do not get in his way. You can probably see the pieces flying out of my <laughs> mouth in the footage. Oh my god. I hate footage? theater. Footage? Footage? DM me. DM me this footage immediately. I gotta see how fast you're frog, frog hopping, bro. I have to see this. I need to analyze this footage. I have been working at the same Starbucks for two years. One of the employees told me that she was had to use the bathroom. Okay. I told her all right. 30 minutes passed and she was still in the bathroom. Okay. Um, girls don't poop for that long. So what could be happening here? The place was still empty, so I went, to, went find to find her. her. I knocked on the door, but there was no response. I put my ear to the door and I heard oh, faint noises. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. What did you do? Door. Did you get I in? I jingled the door handle and it was unlocked. No, what are you doing? I rush in the bathroom. What are you doing? She was in the bathroom <laughs> with no cloth on playing Angry Birds. Oh, they do do that. I forgot that women often get naked in the bathroom taking off all of their clothes just to play Angry Birds. I forgot about that. They do be doing that. Oh, yeah, she's just like me for real. I've done it too, man. You know, gender is a spectrum. I was so shocked. She screamed. Yeah! I immediately left. A few minutes later, she came out. We talked, and it turns out she can't poop if she is not comfortable. What? That is why she stripes and plays games. We both laughed it off, what? and she became one of my best friends. Good ending? I, I, I guess. I don't... You can't poop unless she feels comfortable. How do you feel comfortable in a public bathroom? I would have held that above her head the rest of the time we were working. Hey, Stacy, you want to you wanna pick up my shift this weekend? Ah, uh, I don't think I can. Really? Hmm. I don't think I would be very comfortable coming into work that day. In fact, I would say it would make me a little angry. Okay, 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 I'll come in. Once. I was in a conversation with a voice actor from a video game, uh -huh. and they said they were in Resident Evil 6, and I immediately went, oh, the bad one. That's the end of the story. Honestly, dude, that's sick. That's really good. I love that story. It, uh, they had to have a sense of humor about it, right? It's not like they made the game bad. They knew. They know it's not the good Resident Evil. You could have been much more, uh, much more, or, or stinging. Oh, that's the one with the giraffe that's getting a blowjob on the cover. <laughs> have you guys seen that, by the way? You guys don't know what I'm talking about? You guys don't know what I'm talking It's real. <laughs> Just search. Okay, maybe don't search it. Giraffe blowjob Resident Evil 6. Turn safe search on. You see it, right? You see Editor, pull up the giraffe blowjob, please. Not that one. That one will get me demonetized. Editor, be very careful with what you choose to show on the screen. This is very important. You see it. See? I, I, you know, there's always a risk in saying that stuff. That the, the stream's gonna hit the what champ and Coney dot dot dot. But you guys see it. During like 7th grade or something, my gym class had like an excess of students in it. Uh-huh. So when we were supposed to play knockout, a basketball game, <laughs> the teacher divided the class into boys and girls. Okay. The boys would go to one hoop and play, and the girls would go to the other hoop and play. Sure. Because I can't play basketball for shit, oh, no. I missed the hoop by a mile and the ball bounced off the backboard and rolled <laughs> towards the girl group on the other side of the gym. Oh no! The ball had managed to interrupt their game and I had to go pick up the ball oh, in front of all of them. 
While I went to pick up the basketball, I had tripped on my shoelaces and face up planted. Okay. My shoe had managed to fall off. So when I tried to stand back up, my sock slipped on the tile floor and I fell again. <laughs> okay. All right. The one fall is pretty bad. Two falls is critical. I then proceeded to crawl towards the basketball <laughs> while all of them watched me. When I had returned to the boys group, I had already been eliminated. <laughs> Wait, so you fell down two During times? Like seven. You crawled to the fucking ball? I guess at that point you don't try getting back up. You've already done enough damage. Once you've fallen twice, if you fall a third time, it's fucking over. Nobody will ever forget. We're now at the DLC portion of the stream. We've gotten some great stories. But I'm feeling, uh, kind of tired. Hmm. You know, I think I could keep going for, I don't know. You guys have, like, 2380. If you got some primes, huh? I got 10 more stories for you.